Hey guys, I'm with my client, or I should say former client, John here. He was with me for 12 weeks online and we did a couple in-person sessions. Before we get into his journey, would you like to introduce yourself briefly? Yeah, sure. Um, so Jonathan Robb, or John, doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, and uh, um, uh, father of two and, uh, and uh, yeah, I just, uh, Reached out to to John when uh, a book professional, so dress jockey, and uh, and work at Northwest College actually right now, and uh, yeah, that's that's me kind of in a nutshell. And how old are you? Oh, 48 years old. Okay. Still for a couple months, so approaching 50, and so that's probably we can get into that a little later, but uh, yeah. What made you reach out to me originally? Like, what what were you struggling with, perhaps, or? Well, I'm not gonna lie, I. Uh, I didn't find you, John, but uh, as you know, my, my uh, I think it was my, my wife and my mom found, found you probably when they put their heads together because they were probably both uh, a little sick of me complaining about, uh, yeah, just not, uh, just losing some of my physique and, uh, and, and yeah, just saw, saw the weight kind of ticking up slowly over the years a little bit more and I've always been athletic. I've, I've, I've played basketball, football, rugby, and, and, you know, just always been able to keep things up. But as I've aged, I just found, you know, every year the weight ticks up and every physically you have, the doctor says, well, it's really not that bad. But, you know, when I look in the mirror or whatever, or try, you know, I have to buy bigger clothes all the time. I'm like, it is bad though for me, you know? And so I think, yeah, that's how, that's how we kind of got connected. Uh, it was my last birthday that uh, they put, pooled their, pooled their uh, thoughts and resources together and said, hey, this might be a good gift. And it was probably the best <laughs> gift that I've ever been given on a birthday. So, yeah. yeah, your wife reached out to me, I think, several months beforehand. Yeah. So yeah, that was, that was pretty neat though. Yeah. Over what period of time or how much time went by um, between you being kind of athletic and then this weight creeping on was this like a 10 year period or oh, yeah yeah seriously it was and it was um yeah it definitely was over a long period of time um you know i i always kind of kind of hovered around the the 220 220 225 mark and never really thought about what it went in my mouth and i really didn't like that is the honest truth i actually have a reputation at work for sniffing out food and leftover food from meetings or lunches or whatever and and you know i just never really thought about it much uh including just even you know fats proteins and stuff i mean i knew the obvious stuff like you eat a bunch of chocolate bars, you're, you're going to gain weight. Like the, the silly stuff like that I get, like I always get, but I never really understood the breakdown for me personally as a pretty big guy, like I'm six foot four, you know, and, and, uh, have a pretty, pretty, you know, dense bone structure. And so, uh, so for me, I just, I didn't know what was going to be, should be fueling my body really. Um, until, until we met and I went through some of the resources and it was like, holy crap, I, it was the dawning realization for me was how much protein my body needed compared to other, other average people, right? And, and so that was the big, that was honestly the biggest realization for me, to be honest, yeah. Uh, be before you started with me, were you skeptical of what results you could Oh, I'm always skeptical. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always skeptical. That's just, that's just me. I, uh, yeah, I'm always skeptical. Um, yeah, I, I was, I'm not going to lie. What was going through your mind? I think it was like, well, is, is, are they just going to tell me stuff I already know, you know, cause I, I had felt like I had some basics, but you know, and I, I used to be a club fit junkie. I'm really dating myself now, but, uh, you know, like where I'd go to a gym rat with some friends, you know, um, even post high school, we'd go to the gym lots and, and, uh, you know, work out. So I knew, I knew how to do a lot of the workout routines, so to speak. But, uh, and so, yeah, I was a little skeptical, like what, what are you going to teach me that I don't already know that I'm just probably not doing right. Um, but yeah, yours was a very much a holistic approach, which I think I needed. So, what what weight were you at when we started? Do you remember? 
Oh man, I don't even remember. Probably embarrassed to even say. I, you know, it was probably, I don't know. It was, it was honestly approaching to 250, and that's what was scaring the crap out of me. To be honest with you, I was like, I, I'm the heaviest I've ever been, and I was like, felt like I was on a landslide towards 250, and I was like, this can't be happening. And then I was honestly having some physiological problems. I was, I was having acid reflux at night, um, a lot. Uh, to the point where I actually got some medication for it uh, and the doc said I should be taking it all the time and I'm like I'm never taking any medication all the time if I can prevent it so I was taking it on an as needed basis uh, but it literally to this day is still by my bedside but I haven't touched it like I can't remember the last time I've touched it so it, it obviously clearly was related to either what I was eating or, or actually how much weight I was, I had gained. And so that, yeah, yeah, that's a very concrete thing that I don't even know if I told you that when we started. I don't think so, no. Yeah. Yeah. I, I meant to look up the specific amount of weight you lost. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. It was so, and it was, yeah, yeah, it was pretty, I think we started the very, like one of the last days in February cause February is my birthday month. And, uh, yeah, I think we started, uh, together and, and within, I think honestly, within three months time, I, I, I had, I had dropped like, you know, 15 pounds at least. And it, and it was probably more like 20. Um, now, now I'm definitely down 20 pounds and solidly. And I, I always fluctuate, like I'm lucky. I'm still like, still a, still a, uh, you know, pretty, pretty active guy when I want to be. Um, but there's weeks where I slip off a little bit, but I think for me right now, it's the mindset change. Like I know I can do it. And when I put my mind to it, even if I slide off of it, I know it doesn't take much for me to just get back in that zone and, and, and bounce back, you know? And so I'm always hovering now around the, you know, the, the probably about the 225 mark. And, you know, someday I'll get down to 220 if I really hit it hard for an extended period of time. But for me, that's, 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 that's a great goal, but, uh, for me, it's how my clothes feel, how I feel personally and ment like mentally, physically. And that's what I've noticed massive. And, and I noticed that in a pretty short period of time and, and really just, I think some minor tweaks in my diet, like I said, the protein, you know, I was doing the shakes in the morning, but you're like, add another scoop of protein powder. And I was like, really? That seems like a lot, but that's what you need. <laughs> you know, and it was just conversations like that, that I'll never forget that I'm like, wow, this is like. And I felt instantly better. Like I wasn't snacking as much anymore because I was actually fueling my body with what it needed, not what someone else needed of that was like a lot smaller person or frame or gender than I, right? So let's talk about this. There's a few things I'd yeah. like to talk about that you, you've covered yeah. Right yeah. there. Uh, one of them people should really take note of is, so you started late February, mm -hmm. 12 weeks would be March, April, May, so maybe basically end of May, beginning of June. Mm -hmm. And now it's basically November in a mm -hmm. couple of days. Mm -hmm. And you've been maintaining that weight loss mm -hmm. just through the good habits you've kind mm -hmm. of learned, which is huge. Yeah. So I don't do any diet because diets don't work. Yeah. So that's, that makes me very happy to hear yeah. that, that you just maintain that weight and it hasn't been no. difficult. It hasn't. <laughs> Uh, but let's go back to the snacking. So how much snacking would you, were you doing before? Would you say, was it more of like an evening thing or just no, all the uh, time you'd see stuff? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, evening was actually my, I've never been an evening snacker. You know, I, even before we met, I, I was not really, I'd have dinner and usually not have anything else. Oftentimes I was having dinner and dessert after snacking a lot at work. You know, it was really at work where I was a fiend, a snack fiend. And it was like, honestly, it was like, I'm not, I wasn't kidding about the reputation. It was like, oh, yeah, Jonathan sniffed out some food here, food here and, you know, some leftover lunch or, or like, yeah. And, and it was, yeah, and I, but I, but I was also hungry. Like I, I had a, I, 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 I wanted to eat because I was hungry in a sense too. It wasn't just because, oh, it's great. Yeah, here's some leftover cheese or here's some leftover crackers or whatever else I found, right? Um, it was also because because I was hungry. Um, and I do attribute it to not getting enough protein, particularly in the morning um, and at lunchtime. 
And I think once, once that, uh, once that started, I found, okay, not only was I not hungry, but it was kind of like, I, I kind of retrained my brain to, to just think about more what's going in my mouth and, and the consequences of that. Like, yeah. So shower work, you're just more, you're, you're maybe a little less hungry, but you were also conscious of your decisions. Oh yeah. A little bit more. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then you were talking about mentally, yeah. you noticed some changes. Can you talk about that a bit more? Yeah, for sure. I think just the confidence, you know, um, you know, having been an athlete and that was involved heavily in, in team sports, um, now I'm not anymore as a dad. I, I coach, I am a head coach of basketball, for example, a sport that I loved and uh, met for many, many years as an athlete. And I want to give back now. And so, um, but like, you know, eventually I got to a point where I didn't really want to play the team, team sports anyway, because it was taking away from my family time, particularly with my kids and, and, and such. And so I, I decided to uh, coach instead. But of course, you don't get that physical demand on your body coaching. You get it on your larynx, I've learned, but uh, not, not the physical body. And so, so, so I just found um, I wasn't getting... You know, my, the, the, the athleticism for, for me to put time into athleticism for me personally was constantly on the back burner, constantly on the back burner, right? And it was, I was always last, putting myself last in mentality and physicality, right? And so, um, cause it was for right reasons, I think, you know, always my family first kind of thing, but, but it was, it was, it, you know, and so I was always putting myself last now. I do make time like I've changed that mentality even some of those videos you sent me of I'll never forget I think uh one of the ex-marines or or whatever he, he I can't remember his name maybe now. David Goggins maybe. yeah see yeah. like I don't I'm not starstruck by these yeah. guys but but I what I love is some of those quick hit videos that you know you really think about what that means to you right and you personalize it a bit more you know you don't have to go to his extreme of course mm -hmm. but what you can do is what does it mean for me how do I what do I take from that mentality so I can make it my own? And that's, that's kind of what I've done, I think, and probably really well, because it's given me the confidence that, Hey, even though I went out to dark, took my daughter to dark last night and we picked out our carnival food, I know I'm going to be okay. You know, and now I know why my legs are sore. It's because of all the sodium intake and, and suddenly my legs are sore. And I'm kind of thinking about, you know, so now I'm also more body aware that what, the physiological symptoms that I'm actually having, my body is having, is, is usually tied to my diet, you know? So it's kind of interesting for, yeah. for better or for worse. And I wasn't thinking like that mentally, right? So it's confidence and I think also the, the, the knowledge, right? And, and putting that into practice, that's, that's what I feel like I've gained a lot more. And it's not over the top for me either. Like I'm not, I'm not, I don't want a PhD in this stuff either, right? So, yeah. Finding the right balance. Yeah, yeah that's good. Uh, yeah. Is there anything else that you can think of that you'd like to, to add to something you accomplished maybe that you didn't expect to or? I honestly, so John, I honestly didn't think we'd have this much success with me. <laughs> I honestly thought we might be sitting here November and I might have like lost 10 pounds or something like that. And I think that would have still been success for me. But I didn't expect it to be honestly as easy as it was for me. And, and I'm, maybe that's, maybe that's my privilege because I could carve up the time really quickly for myself and, uh, you know, maybe just the focus. Like I was, I, I was pretty, I was really serious about it. And, but I can tell you, like, I, I'm not as serious as when we started now. And I'm still not, I feel like I'm, I'm still on the right path. Right. And I feel like it's totally sustainable. Um, so I think that was the biggest surprise for me is like how quickly once I started with both the knowledge and the workouts, how quickly, you know, it started to happen. I started to notice results like almost immediately mm -hmm. and like it got better every week, you know, and there was times where it was kind of like I'd have bad weeks cause I fell off, you know, like, or, you know, holiday seasons are always a typical time where people kind of fall off or whatever, or even weekends sometimes where you're doing extracurricular things with family and stuff, but, or friends, but I just feel like even when those moments happen now, I don't get panicked. Like I don't, I don't, it's not a big deal to me anymore. Cause I know if I hit it hard, like for a week, I'm going to, 
I'm going to rebound. And you taught me that too, because I, I would panic. I think there was times where I was like messaging you saying, oh my God, like I, I can't believe how much this one, you know, <laughs> holiday meal, I, I like, I'm up like four times. Yeah. And you're like, dude, like most of that is, I think you were saying most of that's water retention. Right. Yeah. And I was like, well, that, that wasn't even in my mindset before. Right. And you were, you were really good though at being consistent and then maybe you'd have a larger meal or yeah. or whatever, but then yeah. you get back on track pretty quick. Yeah. And that's really the key I think is and that, just yeah. getting, not, not getting completely derailed. It totally. is super important. So. And I think that's for me what, that's what makes it so sustainable though, long term. Right. So you talk about, you don't, you we're not talking about diets here at all. Like I know tons of people at my work and friends even that have tried dieting. I'm like, doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> I see it firsthand. It doesn't work. And I don't think that would ever work for me because I just, I don't lead a life that allows that rigidity. Whatever you do, you've got to be able to sustain it, do it for the rest of your life. So whatever you choose, you have to ask yourself, can I do this for the ne next yeah. 25 years? Yeah. And if the answer is no, it's probably a bad idea. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah. So based on your, your results, what would you say to somebody who's on the fence about making that decision to do a program like mine, for instance, mm -hmm. um, what would you say to that person? Just start. <laughs> yeah. Just, just, uh, just start, take the plunge, uh, have the courage. Um, you know, if you've talked to your loved ones beforehand and tell them that you want to do it, and this is what you need for men as well. That's always a good starting point too. You, no matter what you're starting in life, I found that was helpful when I started my master's um, degree. But yeah, just start and uh, you know, uh, and stick to it. Um, and 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 I would challenge anyone to stick to it for at least a month and tell me if you're honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. If you don't have results after a month, it might not be a week, but if you don't have results after a month, I'd be shocked. Like if you're if you're truly truly honest with yourself and with you, you know, as you go through the motions and, um, uh, but yeah, just start. I'm guessing you would probably say you'd recommend my, my program yeah. to others, but would yeah. you recommend it to others and maybe, maybe why? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, for sure. I think, um, I think, I think the why for me is because of how easy you did make it. Like you, you didn't, you were really conscious about, uh, going too fast, too quickly, um, and really just getting a baseline to understand people at an individual level where they were at, both nutritionally and physically, I think. Um, and so, so, so a lot of that kind of background is I found really important and thoughtful um, because it's because everyone's different, right? Everyone has different body types. Everyone has different goals. Um, everyone is prone to injury more than others. Um, and so whenever, and I found you very accessible. So whenever I was kind of like, there was times where I think I did injure like a shoulder or something like that. I can't remember. Um, cause it, cause it was minor and it was not a big deal. Um, but you, you gave me exercises, how to modify that. So it wouldn't strain the shoulder as much anymore. Um, you know, and I probably have a lot of repet repeat repetitive injuries from sports, you know, um, over the time, but, um, yeah, so it was just, you were accessible, you, you personalize it and, and yeah, you make it sustainable, you know, that it's not just going to be a flash in the pan. Um, yeah. And I think, I think honestly, like, and, and, I, and really, I think anyone in a coaching environment and even a leadership role, like I'm in at work. I mean, they want to, they want their clients to eventually be able to sustain whatever they're learning on their own. I mean, that's the ultimate, it success. is the ultimate goal. That's yeah. the ultimate goal here yeah. to work yourself out of a job with me personally is actually a good thing. That's a true sign of success, right? Especially if you phone me up five years later and you realize, I'm still held around the 220, 225 mark and feeling good, right? I'm checking on feeling you good, right? Every few months. Uh, <laughs> make sure. Yeah, don't wait five years. I feel like we've got a better relationship than that. But anyway, yeah. No, I think that's the ultimate success. And I think, yeah, just the personalization of it is, is what did it for me. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. Just before we wrap up here, I just wanted to go back to one thing you had mentioned yeah. about um, one of your... One thing you were 
skeptical mm -hmm. of was maybe the results you would get, mm -hmm. thinking, I might only lose five or ten pounds by November, mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Even if you only did lose mm -hmm. five or ten pounds, this is going for mm -hmm. whoever's watching. Mm -hmm. You have to remember there's more than just the weight loss to look at. Totally. It's just getting in the routine sometimes and getting in that routine of exercising maybe two, three times a week, mm -hmm. making certain food choices mm -hmm. is so important because that's going to set your foundation for the weight loss later. But of yeah. course, everyone wants to see that weight loss, yeah. right? So but I just wanted to point that out that sometimes progress isn't the scale. There's yeah. other things like you were saying too, how your clothes fit confidence. The acid reflux is that, that yeah. totally gone. So like, and that was huge because I knew that could lead to esophageal cancer or something way worse for me. Right. And so that you're right. Like though, for me, the weight loss was a goal, but it was linked to so much more mm -hmm. I think, for me, right. How I was feeling, how I was looking, how I was like my clothes was fitting the, the acid reflux. It was all kind of related, right. Even my sleeps are better now. Right. So yeah, there's usually deeper reasons than the weight. There's yeah. always a reason there are several reasons and deep, deeper yeah. layers to it. So yeah. but anyways, I really appreciate you yeah. chatting with me and hopefully we can chat again soon. Yeah. So thanks for a lot. Sure. Thanks John. Okay. Yeah. Talk thanks to you for everything. You're welcome. Just start everybody. <laughs> so John just wanted to add a couple thoughts that I think would be valuable for people to hear. Yeah, sure. So yeah, I was just saying to John that, uh, well, not only is the acid reflux gone and, and such, but uh, I definitely noticed that people were coming up to me, even at work, you know, while I was preparing my tea and they were saying, you know, you look like you look like your, your, your clothes are fitting a lot looser. You're, you know, you're, you're, uh, uh, you're obviously doing something. And so that's when I would tell them about the journey that I'm on. And, and I do feel it's a journey, you know, that I'm on a never ending journey now. So, uh, so yeah, just wanted to add that in that, uh, you know, other people have, have noticed and commented, you know, and that's, uh, that makes me feel pretty good as well, you know. Sounds good. Thanks for adding that. Yeah.